I hope you're all well. Welcome to today's Babylon story storytelling session. Are you ready for today's show? Okay, let's get started. We will first start with our dua. Can we have our dua hands up, everyone? All together, nice and loud, okay? Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma akhrijni min dhulmatil waham. Wa akrimni binur al faham. Allahumma ftah alayna abwaba rahmatik. Wanshur alayna khazayna ulumik. Birahmatika ya arham al rahimin. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajjil farajahum. All right. We are now going to watch the video from last week's activities, all right? So watch out for your picture. So if you've sent in your pictures from last week's show, you're gonna see it here soon. Well, we've scanned the sky and we've sighted the moon and we welcome the month of Ramadan. When we'll fast together for Allah to help and strengthen our Iman. Oh, it was so very long ago in the holy month of Ramadan. Allah sent his message to the world, the holy book of Al Quran. A light to shine for all mankind, a guide to teach us right from wrong. First revealed on the night of power, with peace until the rising of the dawn. So we've scanned the sky and we've sighted the moon, and we welcome the month of Ramadan. Lovely. Did you see your pictures? I loved all those pretty crowns. So inshallah, we'll all be as generous and pious, just like Bibi Khadija Al-Islam. All of you did such a good job. Okay, we are now going to sing our poems with teacher Amina. Okay, let's try, let's sing along with her, okay? Yeah. Assalamu alaikum children. I hope you're ready to sing our songs today with lots of energy, okay? All right, everybody together, big arms, yeah? Big, big, big arms, okay? Allah is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. The rivers are his, the mountains are his, the stars are his, and so are we. Allah is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There is nothing that he cannot do for you and you and you and you and for me. Well done. That's right. Allah is so strong and he's so mighty. And whatever you ask Allah, he will give it to you, especially in this holy, holy month of Ramadan. Did you know that we are Allah's guests in Ramadan? How do we treat our guests when they come to our house? We're so Respectful. kind to them. We love them, respect them, we welcome them. Now imagine being the guest of Allah, who is the most kind and the most merciful. It's such an honor. It's such an honor. So we are really, really lucky, all right? Okay, are you ready for our next song? Five fingers up, everybody. Yes? There are yes. five hundred times. Did you know that's true? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We know that's true. There is Muhammad, there is Ali, there is Fatima, Hassan, and Hussein. There is Muhammad, there is Ali, there is Fatima, Hassan, and Hussein. And which Panchatan's birthday do we celebrate in the month of Ramadan? Who can tell me? Imam Hassan. Imam Hassan, that is correct. And 
there is one imam whose wafat we commemorated this month. Which imam was made shaheed in the month of Ramadan? I'll give you one hint. The bad man hit him with a sword on the head right there when he was doing such that. Imam Ali. Imam Ali salam. That is correct. Well done. Okay. Now we are going to go on next to thank Allah for all the blessings that he has given us. Allah says, the more you thank me, the more I'm going to give you. So are we all ready to put up our Alhamdulillah hands and thank Allah? Yes? Okay, all together now, right? Alhamdulillah, oh thank you Allah, I can see. today but inshallah we'll start from the first part of the dua so we will continue we will practice this dua every week okay it's a very special dua and we re recite it specially in the month of ramadan okay so we'll start all together allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ali muhammad okay allahumma adkhil ala ahli al-kubur surur Allahumma aghni kull fakir Allahumma ashbih kull jai Allahumma asuf kull uryan Allahumma fidayna kull madin Allahumma farraj an kull makroob Allahumma rudda kull gharib This is where we ended last week, right? So we're asking Allah to help every poor person, to make the people in the graves happy, to make make all the to feed, Allah to feed every hungry person, and then we continue. We say, oh Allah, give clothes to everyone who have no clothes, right? And then help people pay pay their debts, and then make every sad person happy. And we ended with help every person, every traveler return to their home. So we can when we are doing our du'a. You should always pray for others first. That's when our dua will be accepted, okay? So make sure you remember, we always pray for people around us and then pray for ourselves. So we'll continue with the dua today. And the next four verses for this week, right? So the next four verse, verse uh, the lines for this week will be, Allahumma asleh. Allahumma fukka kulla asir. Can you recite, repeat after me? Allahumma fukka kulla asir. Oh Allah, can you see the person there behind the bars? Oh no, so uh, someone has put him into jail for something he has not done, okay? So we're asking Allah to free all the prisoners who have been unfairly 
uh, um, afflicted. So if they are in jail, if it's not their fault, inshallah, Allah should free them. Okay, again, Allahumma fukka kulla asir. Okay, the next one. Allahumma aslih kulla fasidin min umur al muslimin. Or, or, can you do it? Repeat after me. Allahumma aslih kulla fasidin min umur al muslimin. So we ask Allah, oh Allah, help all the Muslims around the world. Yeah? So we ask Allah to help all the Muslims around the world. And the next one. Allahumma shfi kulla marid. Oh Allah, help every, cure every sick, sick person. person. Allah is all a shafi. Remember what Allah's name last week? A shafi means Allah is the one who cures everyone. And the last one for today is Allahumma sudda faqrana bighinaf. Again, Allahumma sudda faqrana bighinaf. Oh Allah, make us rich through your wealth. Allah is all wealthy, isn't he? All the money belongs to Allah. And we ask Allah to make us rich. Not rich, extremely rich, but enough so we can be happy. All right, so that was the dua, Ramadan dua for today. Now, today, whose birthday are we celebrating? Imam Who Hassan. Can... Yes, it's Imam Hassan's birthday. And which Imam was he? Second. Our second Imam. So I have a very interesting story for you. So I'm going to share that story with you. And please make sure you listen very carefully because the Takahoot quiz will be from the questions that you listen to in this story, okay? So the Takahoot quiz for today will be about Imam Hassan and all the answers are in this story. So make sure you listen very carefully to the story. And the questions are going to be from the quiz, from the story. Right. Are you ready for today's story? Imam Hassan alayhi salam is our second Imam. He is in the five panjatan. Imam Hassan's father was Imam Ali alayhi salam and his mother was Bibi Fatima alayhi salam. Imam Hassan was born on the 15th of Holy Ramadan. It was the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who named him Hassan. Imam Hassan grew up with the Holy Prophet and learned everything from him. Imam Hassan was loved so much by the Prophet and used to accompany his father to the majlis by the Prophet wherever he would recite. The Holy Prophet used to deliver his khutbah and send messages to the people that Allah is only one. One day, as the Holy Prophet was giving his khutbah, he saw Imam Hassan come in. He called him to his side and put Imam Hassan on his lap. He then told the people, whoever loves me should love Hassan. Imam Hassan salam, was very close to his younger brother, Imam Hussein salam. He used to take care of his little brother with so much love. Both brothers were very well behaved. They were polite and respectful all the time. One day, the two brothers went to the masjid for namaz. At the masjid, they saw an old man performing wudu, but in the wrong way. They didn't want to be disrespectful and make the old man feel embarrassed. So they got an idea of how to show him the right way of doing wudu. Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein stood in front of him and started to argue with each other. Imam Hassan told his brother that his wudu was better and more correct than Imam Hussein's. Then they turned to the old man and asked him to check their wudu to see who did it right. The old man agreed. Both Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein did wudu in front of the old man. The old man watched them and realized that it was his wudu that was wrong. And Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein had done their wudu the correct way. He was so happy and thankful to Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein. Do you see how polite Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein were? 
they never wanted to hurt anyone's feelings. Imam Hassan was known to be very, very kind. But the naughty king of the time, whose name was Muawiyah, was spreading lies about Imam Hassan and the Ahl al-Bayt. One day, Imam Hassan was crossing the street on his horse when he came across a man who was a friend of Muawiyah. When the man saw Imam Hassan, he started being rude to our Imam. He used horrible language and made fun of Imam Hassan Salam. What happens to us when someone is rude to us or makes fun of us? We become angry, don't we? We get very upset. But what did Imam Hassan do? Imam Hassan Salam stopped and listened to him. Then he told the man, you don't look like you live here. You look like a traveler. If you need anything, I can try and help you. If you are hungry, I can give you food. And if you need a place to stay, then I welcome you to my home. When the rude man heard Imam Hassan say this, he was so ashamed of himself. He became so sorry and realized that everything he was told about Imam Hassan was not true. He started crying and apologized to Imam Hassan. And then he prayed to Allah to forgive him for his behavior. Imam Hassan Islam used to fear Allah and used to love praying. Whenever he went on his prayer mat, he imagined himself in front of Allah and began shaking and crying and used to ask Allah to, to have mercy on him. Imam Hassan went through some very difficult times in his life. He saw his grandfather, the Holy Prophet, pass away. He saw his dear mother, Bibi Fatima, pass away and his father, Imam Ali, passed away. After Imam Ali passed away, he became the next Imam. Imam Hassan was a very responsible leader. Muawiyah and his people were spreading lies and hatred for Imam Hassan. And eventually, Muawiyah and Imam Hassan signed a peace treaty. The treaty was written to create peace between the Muslims, but Muawiyah did not follow the rules in it. Eventually, Muawiyah used the wife of Imam Hassan, known as Jo'ada, to put poison in Imam's drink so that he could pass away. Imam Hassan salam, passed away on the 28th of Safar and is buried in Jannatul Baqi in Medina. So that was the story of Imam Hassan. So much information, right? Were you all listening carefully? Are you all ready, ready for the Kahoot quiz? Yeah? All right, so inshallah, I'm gonna screen share. I'm gonna start the Kahoot quiz and uh, um, we will see. Uh, we, we, I'm just gonna let you know what the pin is. I hope you have your devices or maybe you can even use your app. You can use it on an app. You can also use it on, uh, on a website, okay? So Bismillah, we're gonna start the quiz. Okay, I hope you can all see see my my uh, my screen. Okay, I hope you can all see my screen. Inshallah, the pin pin will be uh, in shortly. So as soon as it comes on, you can log into your devices. All right. So this is the classic mode. All right, so the game pin will come in shortly and inshallah we'll have, we'll wait a few minutes so everybody can log in, okay? The game pin is 4628257. 4628257. Okay, perfect. So I got Fahish already logged in, Masuma logged in. Khadija, Ali Z. Perfect, that is quick. We've got six of us already logged in. We'll wait for the rest of them. Okay. 
got nine participants who have logged in. I hope you're all ready with the, the uh, who, I hope you all listen to the uh, story uh, attentively. And you can also ask your mummies or your sisters to help you, okay? So inshallah. And everyone's a winner, don't worry. You just try your best because mashallah, all of you are winners. Right, if anybody else needs to log in, it's We'll wait, wait another minute and we will start the quiz. So we have four, our, we are in 14 participants. We'll just wait for one more minute, okay? If anybody needs to log in. For sure, we are waiting, don't worry. Uh, we'll put the game, game pin on the chat in case we start and uh, it's not visible. So you can even join in a little later. Okay. All right, uh, it's been a minute. We are 15 of us here. Uh, can we start now? Everyone's logged in. We are going to start. Okay, perfect. So uh, there isn't a link actually. You will go to, go to the website www.kahoot.it.it, and um, you will click on game. You join a game, and then when it tells you to type the game code, go game pin, you will type four six two eight two five seven. So inshallah, we will start now. Has everybody joined in? Okay, so we will start the quiz inshallah. We get the first question. Okay, are we, uh, is everyone ready to start? We'll wait, we'll wait till 20 participants and then we will start. We have a few of us, uh, a few people who are still joining in. Let's just wait for them. Okay, so we're ready to start the game. And this quiz is about Imam Hassan alayhi salam. Three, two, one. Ready for the first question? Okay, the first question is, which number Imam was our Imam Hassan? Was he the fifth Imam? Was he the third Imam? Was he our second Imam or our first Imam? So you click on the right answer, okay? Is it the red one? the orange one, the blue one, or the green one. Lovely, I think all of you got that correct. Well done, everyone. So Imam Hassan was our second Imam, and he was, Imam Hassan alayhi salam was the second Imam. Perfect. We have Saliha Abbas on the first position. 
The second question is, who was Imam Hassan's mother? All right, so was his mother's name Bibi Khadija? Or was it Bibi Asya? Or was it Bibi Fatima? Or Bibi Maria? Lovely, mashallah. That was so quick. I didn't even finish reading the question. Well done. Imam Hassan's mother's name was Bibi Fatima alayhi salam. We're on our third question. Who was Imam Hassan's father? Okay. So who was the father of Imam Hassan? Was it Imam Hussein? Was it the Holy Prophet? Was it Imam Ali alayhi salam? Or is Imam Hassan's father's name Imam Mahdi? Well done, all of you. Well done. So Imam Ali is the father of Imam Hassan. You girls are, you guys are fast. Okay, we're on question number four. What does the word Hassan mean? Okay, does it mean God-fearing? Does it mean high? Does it mean goodness? Or does it mean heavy? You will choose what mean, the meaning of the word Hassan. Okay? Hassan, Hassan. Perfect, the word, the meaning of Hassan is goodness, all right? A well, very good character and very good behavior. So he always had the perfect behavior. The fifth question is, where is Imam Hassan buried? Is he buried in Najaf? Is he buried in Medina? Is he buried in the city of Karbala? Or is he buried in Makkah? The picture is giving you a hint. Okay, it's a graveyard, which is called Jannah al -Baki. So you can tell, maybe you can, that's a hint for you. And that let you know where, lovely. So he was buried in the graveyard of Jannat al-Baki, which is located in Medina. Question number six, when was Imam Hassan born? We're in the month of Ramadan, right? Is it the 14th of Ramadan? Is it the 15th of Ramadan? Is it the 10th of Ramadan? Or is he born on the 20th of Mahi Ramadan? Well done, all of you. Imam Hassan was born on the 15th night of Mahi Ramadan. Lovely. We have a true or false question. The Holy Prophet was the person who named Imam Hassan. Is this true or is it false? Okay. So the Prophet named Imam Hassan alayhi salam. Is this true or is it false? Who named Imam Hassan? Lovely. Prophet Muhammad named that I named his grandson Imam Hassan Hassan. It's perfect. We are on our eighth question. What do we learn from Imam Hassan? Do we learn to be kind? Do we learn to fear Allah? Do we learn to be patient? Or do we learn all of the above? So if you think we Imam Hassan teaches us all of the above, you press green. Okay, or you can do red, blue, or yellow. Lovely. Good try, all of you. He does teach us to be kind. He does teach, teach us to be patient. And he also teaches us to fear Allah. So the correct answer is all of the above. MashaAllah. Well done, all of you. And we're on our almost second last question. Who did Imam Hassan salam sign the peace treaty with? Did he sign it with Yazid? He signed it with Muawiyah? He signed it with the Quraysh people? Or did he sign the peace treaty with the Holy Prophet Red, orange, blue, or green? Lovely. Most of you got the correct answer. He signed the peace treaty with Muawiyah, which Muawiyah did not agree to till the end, right? He lied, right? He was not being honest. Okay, last question. Imam Hassan's wife, Jo'ada, poisoned Imam Hassan. Is this true or is this false? So you will tick, you will press on true if it's true or it's false if it's false, it's red or blue. Perfect, we got everyone got that correct answer correct. Imam Hassan was poisoned by his wife, Jo'ada, with Muawiyah's uh, misleading. He was, she, he was the one who told him to poison Imam Hassan. So we've got the podium here. Ima, the first person is ZS. She came first. Second is Fatima and Hussein. Ali Z came third. 
All of you are the winners, mashallah. Well done to all of you, okay? I hope you enjoyed that quiz. So that's the end of our quiz from, that's the end of our quiz. Inshallah, we're gonna continue now, okay? We're gonna continue with uh, the Ramadan calendar. Do you remember we had a chart, you had a Ramadan calendar that I was just showing you last week. So I'm gonna show it to you again today. Can I see the Ramadan calendar, please? And we have six pockets. We have, the first pocket was thank you. Then we have Asmal Husna. We have the Quran. We have prayers for the world. We have, oh Allah. And we have my family. So today we are gonna choose prayers for the world, okay? So you know that there's so many things happening around the world. So many people who do not have enough to eat, who don't have enough money, who are poor, okay? And do you know at this moment during Corona, in COVID time, there's a country in the world who are a lot of people who are sick, okay? And this is in India. In India, there are so many thousands, thousands of people who are afflicted with the coronavirus. So we are going to take this opportunity and a moment to pray for the people in India, okay? They don't have enough beds in the hospitals. They don't have enough oxygen left there to give it to the people who are sick. And they don't have enough vaccinations for the people who want to go for the vaccine. So, oh Allah, oh Allah, I pray to you, oh Allah, to help the people who are sick in India so they can feel better and they heal from their sickness, okay? In this holy month of Ramadan, we pray for the people, if they're Muslims or non-Muslims, we pray for all the people in India and all the people around the whole world who are afflicted with the coronavirus, and we make, tell Allah to make them feel better. Okay, are you all ready for the activity for today? We're gonna start. And we, I hope you have all your skewers and your fruits. So we are going to do our activity, which is not going to be the last thing of our session today. Inshallah, we're going to end with a, a song, okay? So inshallah, after activity, we're going to do a poem. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to screen share the activity with you. We have teacher Amina, who's very kind enough who recorded the activity for us. All right, so I hope you have everything ready. And inshallah, if you don't have it right now, you can do the activity later before it's time for your start. Okay? Assalamu alaikum, children, and welcome to today's activity. But before we start, okay, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, whose birthday this that we're celebrating? Our second Imam? Imam Hassan alayhi salam. That's right. And Imam Hassan was very, very special, just like our other 12 Imams. Okay? All the Imams had one mission. Okay? To bring the message of Allah and to help us to become strong in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they also have the best of akhlaqs that we can also copy them and have the best of akhlaq, right? And amongst that was also eating habits, okay? We learn everything about how to live our lives from the Ahlul Bayt and from the Imams. And one of that is to become very aware of what we eat and put inside our right? I know if I ask you all right now, how many of us love chocolate? Me too. How about ice cream? Yes. Um, milkshakes? Kind of. You're young, you right? <laughs> do you guys like milkshakes? Yeah, that's how you do. Yeah, you do, don't you? And we love all these sweet, sugary things and fried foods and chicken and chips and pizza and burgers, right? We love it because it tastes so yummy, but are they very good for us? No, not all the time. We can have them once in a while, but not all the time. These bodies Allah has given us so that we can use them to worship Him. And we can only worship Him if our body is in good health. So we have to take care of how we treat our bodies, what we put inside it by eating, and do we work out, do we exercise, do we stay active? So we need to think about all of these things, okay? So for today's activity, we are going to be making some fruit skewers. This fruit is very, very healthy, okay? You should have at least two or three different types of fruit 
every single day, all right? And what I have done is I've selected four different fruits, okay? And you can use anything that you have in your kitchen. It doesn't have to be these fruits in particular, okay? But we have pineapple, watermelon, grapes, and kiwi, kiwi, okay? And then we have our wooden skewers like this, and it's just simple. We're just going to put fruits in there for us to look at, yeah? And have a nice healthy snack. Okay, so you can do this with us, with whatever you have kept ready. And let's do this together, right here, Mr. Kina. Yes? You already have a break. That's fine. Okay, so as I'm talking about this uh, fruit, I want you to see what they're good for. So pineapple is what I'm going to put first. What are you putting first in your skewer? Great. Okay, so do we know what pineapples are good for? Apart from being juicy, juicy, and yummy, do you know what pineapples are good for? Can I tell you? Okay, it helps you to digest your food. Did you know that? It helps you with digestion and it keeps your bones strong. I bet you didn't know that. I know we know that milk keeps our bones strong and that is true, milk does. So the pineapples, all right? And then we have watermelon. Okay, watermelons are one of my favorite fruits in the world. Okay, they're so sweet, they quench your thirst and they're so yummy. But what else are watermelons good for? Do you know? They're good for your... Huh? They help you become stronger. They're good for your skin. And they're good for your hair. Yeah. Interesting, right? And then we have grapes. Yum grapes. I'm sure a lot of you love these for yeah? What do you think grapes are good for? I'm going to put two in mine because I love them. So grapes have a lot of vitamin C in them. Lots of vitamin C and they protect you from dangerous diseases like cancer. Yeah? So have lots and lots of grapes. It also keeps your heart strong. Which we all want, don't we? We all want a strong, healthy heart. Right? And finally, I have some kiwi fruit. This is what kiwi is. See? I didn't try the kiwi fruit. Will you try it today? Yeah? So kiwi has also a lot of vitamin C in it, and it also helps with digestion. And I'm going to end this fruit skewer with another watermelon. Why are you not putting any pineapples on your skewer? Mine is so colorful. Look at that. <laughs> and you can add apple squares, you can add banana slices. Yes, you can add apples, we can put banana slices. We can, um, whatever you like. You can put cucumbers, you can put carrots. Yeah, put them in a skewer just to make it fun to eat. But try, try, try and get your fruits in every single day. Are we going to try to eat more fruits? That looks so much better now. Look at that. That's colorful. You have to eat the rainbow. Have you heard of that? Eat yeah. that? Eat the rainbow. I don't know. I want to be your color. Yeah, because you need all the colors in you. Yeah, so you need your green vegetables. Yeah, broccoli, even though we don't like broccoli so much, but it's got a lot of iron. This is your blood. This is video um, that shows you um, all the food colors and what they're, what, what, what's Really? Maybe we can share with them uh, later on. Yeah, send them the link. Good idea? Yeah. Yeah? So green leafy vegetables, drink lots and lots of water, right? Lots and lots of water every day to stay hydrated. What else? Hmm? Try and eat healthy foods. Okay? Try not to have too much fried food, too much food from outside. Okay? Not to have too many. Oh, one other one. What fizzy drink does anyone love? Oh, we have a raw one. <laughs> you can have it. We have sodas. Yeah? Sodas are a big, big no, no, no. Sodas are full of sugar. So they, what do they do? They start to work on your bones. Yeah, and your bones start to deteriorate. And they become weak. And they become weak, especially your knees, you know that? So all the boys who want to become footballers, I suggest you don't drink too much soda. Okay? Try and have fresh juices, drink lots of water, have spinach, have a salad. And all the girls who want to be footballers. Even girls who want to be footballers, you're right. Girls can be footballers too. Yeah? And all of you, because you're young and you want to still grow up to be nice and healthy and strong. So I hope you enjoy your fruit skewers. Uh, enjoy your fruit. Make sure your whole family has some for iftar tonight. And 
inshallah hope to see you soon yes bye bye everybody so that was a few tours for today make sure you share some with your family and make sure you always eat healthy so we're going to end with one of the one of the songs one of it's, it's called pizza in my pocket okay so enjoy the poem this is something related to uh, healthy eating and giving to the poor you might have you might have already heard it but uh, enjoy the poem Did you ever yell about the boy who ate and ate and ate? He ate early in the morning and he ate when it was late. But he didn't thank Allah for all the yummy food he had. And he ate so much it made him sick, which really made him sad. He ate dates in Damascus, which he thought were very nice. Hot samosas in Sumatra, seasoned with a special spice. He had tacos in Tijuana with some sauce he got from Spain. And a bowl of fresh baklava that he parted in Bahrain. He said gyros made in Cairo are a taste that can't be beat. And the lemonade in Yemen made a very special treat. But the turkey made in Turkey could still use a pinch of salt. If you ever visit Malta, you should have a chocolate malt. He had pizza in his pocket, he had ketchup on his shirt. And he bought an ice cream sundae so he wouldn't miss dessert. He had pizza in his pocket, he had ketchup on his shirt. And he bought an ice cream sundae so he wouldn't miss dessert. On a bay in the Bahamas, he had bonbons in a bunch. Then he rushed back home so he could make it just in time for lunch. Then one day he saw a little girl who held her tummy tight And he walked over and asked her, is everything alright? She said she was so hungry, been hungry for so long Then he realized the way he ate was very, very wrong He looked down at his own tummy and he started feeling pain Pain from eating too much food, but he knew not to complain So he brought the girl some food, shared it with her family for what they had and then he let them be so let's try to learn a lesson and let's try to do what's right eat the food your parents give you what's out of us so fight always be thankful to all of us <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today you enjoyed today's session. Inshallah, see you next week. Good afternoon everyone.